Hi there, students. Fabian. Fabian you can use as either an adjective or a noun. Now, if you describe somebody as Fabian, you are saying they are cautious. Um, or a Fabian policy. This is somebody who advocates social reform, but moderately. This is the opposite of a Balkoninist, yeah? Um, a, so, somebody who is Fabian wants to achieve their objectives slowly but surely, rather than in a sudden revolution. Um, okay, now when you use this word as an adjective, you should use it with a capital S and capital F, sorry, and that's because the uh, because of the origin. The origin comes from Quintus Fabius Maximus, who was a Roman general, and he was in charge of defending Rome uh, against Hannibal, and his tactics were. Um, to avoid a direct confrontation, to avoid a direct battle, and uh, to delay and harass the enemy. I think the idea of he who fight and run away live to fight another day. Um, okay, so Fabius Maximus, he, his idea was to weaken the enemy to cut the, their supply lines, but to avoid a direct face-to-face -face battle. Um, now, we also have the Fabian Society. Um, this was a British society founded in the late 1800s, early 1900s. Um, and it's a, a group of socialists, but they are um, social democrats. They're people who want uh, and more even and more just society for everyone, more equal opportunity, but not through revolution. They want to achieve their aims slowly but surely. Yeah, and this is different to the idea of left-wing radicalism. Okay, so the uh, Fabian society, it's um, supported by uh, people who want uh, change for society to become fairer, but slowly and surely, not by a sudden revolution. For example, Nehru from India was a Fabian. Um, there are various other famous Fabians of that time. Um, H.G. Wells, for example, or um, oh, um, ha, the Irishman. Uh, it's gone. I'll, I'll I'll remember it before the end with a bit of luck. Uh, okay, so Fabian. Now you can use this word to say somebody who wants sm change. They they want society to change or things to change, but they want to do this um, little by little. Yeah, they don't want to be. Um, uh, a, a radical change. There we are, George Bernard Shaw. Yeah, he was one of the, uh, 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 the one of the early Fabians. Okay, so you could say some uh, a Fabian policy. Yeah, uh, a Fabian approach to doing things. Um, okay, a a uh, a Fabian way of doing things. Okay, so you do things slowly but gently. I would say my my personal tendencies are much more Fabian than revolutionary, because I think re revolution just ends up with lots of suffering, and clearly there are injustices in society, but we need to change this slowly but surely, okay? So this is the idea of uh, Fabian. I think this is a really good word for you to use in an exam. Yeah, it, you can just use it meaning cautious, yeah, or avoiding a direct conflict. 
Um, so you, 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 you need to get him to change his mind, but I would recommend that re recommend being Fabian rather than uh, aggressive. Yeah, um, I think a, a Fabian approach is a, normally a much better way of doing things. <clears throat> so as to formality, that's an interesting one. I think I would probably give it a six in formality. Would I use it informally? Um, I think probably I would just use the word cautious or avoiding direct conflict or something like that. Use it in a semi-formal conversation, a semi-formal writing or a formal writing. Although be careful because I think many native speakers won't understand what it means. Yeah. Um, and remember, when you use this word, uh, use, a ca use it as a capital F. Ah, also, I didn't say a Fabian can also be a member of the Fabian Society, but a Fabian, somebody who uh, wants a fairer uh, society where um, the poor have uh, are empowered, but they want to at attain this um, situation slowly but surely and without direct revolutionary con conflict. So enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you soon. Bye for now. Fabian.